All right, well, whether it is the shoes you're wearing or the way you do your makeup or you're trying too hard to look young, Allie joins us with more on how to embrace your age. Hey, Allie. Hello, yes, I'm here and joined by Angela Paul, author of The Beauty of Aging. And she's here to remind us all that age is all about attitude and not a number. Hi, Angela. Nice to be with you. Yes, you too. So, you know, it, it, it's out there. We're always trying to look younger. I mean, even at my age, and I'm young, I feel like I'm, I'm already even told, like, you need to take all these precautions to look exactly, younger. Exactly. Um, sometimes unhealthy ones. Exactly. Well, I think the thing is that people forget that getting older is natural. It's not a disease, as mm -hmm. we've been led to believe, especially in America. Now, I think in uh, Europe, uh, women have a lot easier time getting older. You can be sexy and attractive at 40, 50, 60 and beyond. But here in America, a lot of women start to feel invisible by the time they're 35, which is crazy. It, it, it's insane. You know, and the, the, main, the interesting thing is that when I speak to men, men will tell you that confidence and poise is sexy and alluring, not desperately clinging to your youth. Yeah, you know, so like or wearing trying things. too hard yeah. to look like you're two or three decades younger. Mm -hmm. yeah, so what's an example, I guess, of trying too hard to okay. be young? Example one. Okay. <laughs> Super low rise jeans. All right. With a bright colored thong showing up. Oh, that's just a no no, no matter that's what an, age. Exactly. You are. <laughs> that's a no no at any age. Right. But especially when you're 40 mm -hmm. or 50 and you're walking around. And the other one is I've seen women in really, really short skirts with hug boots. And in the 50s and 60s, it's like a 16-year-old. Don't wear it if you're older than 16. Oh, the, the Ugg boots? Yeah, the short yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, yeah. no, that's no. A, that's no. a no, no. I mean, what you're wearing, what I'm wearing, you can never go wrong with a little black dress. Mm -hmm. You know, you can dress it up, you can dress it down. And I think one of the other main things to remember is if you're going to show a little cleavage, don't show a lot of leg. Mm -hmm. If you want to show a little bit of leg, cover up. Honestly, the dress that you have on right now, this like very simple black dress, I feel like that is like the most sexy thing a woman can wear. Exactly, because it's subtle, it's classic, it's timeless, mm -hmm. and it's ageless. Mm -hmm. And that really comes down to looking attractive at any age. You right, know? too much skin is not going to do no, that. No, I mean, desperation truly, again, is not attractive. Mm -hmm. And then what about, um, woman, you, you've talked a little <laughs> bit about women's lips and how that sort of yeah, is I manipulated. Yeah, I mean, that seems to be the big thing in Hollywood these days. Mm -hmm. I don't know why, and I, yeah. I, I wonder sometimes if women look in the camera and see how they look when they've had these giant trout lips lips, you mm -hmm. know, or Donald Duck lips, you know, yeah, it's, called, like the, it's called the trout powder. I mean, everybody wants to look like Angelina Jolie. Mm -hmm. I mean, Angelina <laughs> Jolie has those lips because she was born with them. Mm -hmm. Lisa Rina, on the other hand, who's, you know, actually come out in the public and said that she regrets having her lips done. Those were not natural. Because your lips actually do get thinner. As we get older, the fact is that our lips get smaller. It's mm -hmm. just the way it is. You know, you can you can do something by using using a little nude lip um, pencil and a little lip lip gloss, but your lips are not going to get bigger. Mm -hmm. So if you see a woman whose lips seem to get bigger as she ages, you know that she's probably filling up with too much collagen or right. some filler, and it's just not attractive. Men don't find it attractive either. Mm -hmm. And, and you know, always when you sort of take an extreme risk, like getting a filler, then you're you're risking that something could go wrong. Well, that's and it. that's even going to look worse. Well, I think, and again, in this in this town and in the in business of Hollywood, it's become to some such extreme measures that women are doing all kinds of things to change the way they look. Um, uh, and I just don't think that looking around, looking at clones of everybody else with super big lips, mm -hmm. super large breasts, is, um, is is attractive. You know. So how do you think women can embrace their age? How can they embrace the able? Uh, you got to develop an inner life, mm -hmm. you know, develop a spiritual path, something that will give you a sense of who you are beyond the outside, beyond this, you know, this shell, this vessel that we live in. It's really temporary anyway. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, stay connected to great people, your family, your friends, and to not be afraid of the fact that everybody is going to get older. Mm -hmm. I mean, the bottom line is that a 17 year old will be 70 one day if she's lucky. Mm -hmm. You know? That's a great way to look at it. Well, Absolutely, you know, you should embrace your age because. You yeah, know, what's the alternative? Exactly. If you're, if you're not alive, and you're 70, you're mm -hmm. you're dead. So much better off to be grateful of whatever age you're at. Every passage has something fantastic to give us. Absolutely, and I love that. Confidence is always by far the most attractive thing. Exactly, so. and you're a wonderful example. Aw, oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you'd like more advice and tips from Angela Paul, you can visit our website and click on the scene on tab. Roll. Outstanding lady. Confidence is good. Guess, uh, yeah. Okay, uh, 931 now. A restaurant in Arizona, listen to this, just launched an unusual new promotion. You ready for this? 
Diners weighing more than 350 pounds eat free. 